Those who have gardens or farm complain about weeds. Weeding gardens is certainly no fun, and weeding whole farms even less so. Agricultural robots are coming, and they will probably end up performing hand labor you thought they could never do. Market to Market's Mike Pearson reports. The future of farming may now be in the hands of robots. With advances in technology, computers and robots are able to perform the tasks of factory and office workers, cutting back the need of human workers. Engineers from Silicon Valley in California have designed a robot to assist with farming duties. Known as the lettuce bot, these intelligent machines use video cameras and software that distinguishes good lettuce buds from the bad. The bad lettuce buds are eliminated with a small dose of concentrated fertilizer, which enriches the soil in the process. And the nice thing about lettuce bot is that it uh, does it automatically, it does it very fast, and it does it uh, in a better way with more information than a human can. Just one lettuce spot not only improves production, but it can also inspect an entire field of lettuce in the time it would have taken about 20 workers to do the same job by hand. Labor is getting uh, more difficult to find, and um, having something automated like this can reduce the amount of people we need to do a field. By making field work more efficient and less expensive, robots like the lettuce spot have the potential to aid in recent labor shortages. They are also expected to produce a consistently better quality product with higher yields. Additionally, farm robots might play a role in lessening the unknowns of immigration reform. Potential aside, the robots also come with their own set of pitfalls. On top of being clumsy, the machines struggle with distinguishing produce from leaves and branches and inadequately selecting ripe produce. The biggest challenge with the robots is developing one that can harvest fresh fruit. Engineers at Agrobot are hoping to make these developments by testing their strawberry harvester with local growers in Southern California. Engineers at Blue River Technology also plan to develop machines that automate weeding and harvesting. In addition to Blue River, Vision Robotics in San Diego is developing machines similar to the lettuce bot, as well as a robotic pruner for wine grapes. Since robots, like the lettuce bot and the strawberry harvester, still must undergo further testing, it will likely be several years before they are available for commercial use.